Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, filming this video about a 2014 Ford Escape EcoBoost that we are having troubles with the engine Ford Escape EcoBoost SE so the problem that we are having is we have an oil leak but it is an oil leak just out of nowhere it's not from like it's not from the from any gasket or anything this is a 1.6 EcoBoost and the oil leak is in the back of this engine and we took quite a bit of stuff off this engine actually caught on fire and you can see a little bit of it right there on this plastic part right there and nothing major was damaged except like just all the plastic but we replaced all that everything is back in working condition and we just took off a bit more parts from back here so you can see it better but there is an oil leak this is the back of the engine and what made the car catch on fire is the oil leak is coming from the back of this engine block just straight out of the block there's like a little either a pinhole or just a little hole in the block or a crack in the block and I can't find any information online but it is leaking from back here getting on this uh, I think it's called the exhaust manifold this one right here and it is starting to smoke and then just catch on fire and that's what happened now this next video that I'm gonna play for you is a close-up video that I got from the area I cleaned it cleaned the back of this engine very nicely and it's a one minute clip and you're gonna see that the oil is gonna materialize out of nowhere and in that video from the light from the way that I'm shining the flashlight that's the top of the engine the little like rusty black bar that's the top of the engine and oil just legit appears out of nowhere I think it's like a little hole at the bottom of the little square you'll see it on the engine it's very hard to describe but I'm about to play that clip now Now, as you can see in that video, if you play it forward and then play it backwards, I mean like reverse it and then fast forward the video, you can see that in the beginning there's no oil. I completely cleaned the block before and then by the end of that one minute clip, there's oil just like leaking into that little circle that has number 11 and number 13. And the oil leak, as you can see, comes right from above it in that little crease in the engine. And I have no idea what it is i've i've went all over google all over all the forms cannot find anything so i'm just filming this youtube video maybe somebody can comment uh give some advice but i don't know and that video was filmed earlier and the oil leak starts to uh happen more severely when we rev up the car to around 3000 rpms so during that clip the engine was at around 3000 rpms it wasn't just uh, idling but when the car is idling that oil leak still is happening and the oil is still leaking just at a much slower rate so that's what led us to believe that it is either a cracked engine or a little pinhole or the en uh, the engine was just made poorly and that is a porous little hole in the engine but if there's anybody that can help us with this, uh, we'd greatly appreciate it. And I'm going to try to get another video so you can see maybe a better idea of what the other clip was filming. This is me putting the camera right behind the engine right here. And it's kind of hard. But it is leaking from like right there. 
Dang. There we go. From right there. And I just have no idea what it is. And if we can't figure it out, we might just buy a new engine. And to fix it right now, we, we might try to just weld up the engine in that area. Or, I don't know, do something else. But that's our ideas. If you have anything to say, please add it in the comments. One more thing I wanted to add was there's absolutely nothing else wrong with this Ford. No dash lights. The engine's good, compression's good, drives amazingly. It's just when you give, uh, when you step on the gas and the oil re really starts to leak, then it just starts smoking and you gotta stop driving it. Other than that, perfect car, nothing else wrong with it. Our two ideas of fixing it are getting a new, uh, the top end of the block, a new one, and just putting it on there and doing a head gasket job at the same time, or just buying a whole new engine. Or trying to weld up the old engine, which will be the most difficult part. And this is our dog. But if you have any suggestions, please add them in the comments. Thank you for watching.